Greetings, dear listeners. Today we have a very special guest amongst us in our show, Money and Me. Tom Albright, the CEO of one of the world's most well-known exchanges, Bitrex Global, is here today to answer all your questions. Hi, Tom. Welcome to the session. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's great a pleasure having you to be here, and I'm yeah very excited to answer all of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of questions coming up, but before that, uh, tell us how are you doing? How is your day being going? I'm doing very well. Yes, it's uh, always exciting to be in crypto with uh, you know Ethereum hitting all time highs and interest in the industry uh, also hitting all time highs from my perspective. So very exciting times, and things are going great. Right. So my first question begins exactly on that count. So crypto has seen massive growth since the last year. Mm-hmm. Massive would be an understatement. With Bitcoin, yes. <laughs> <laughs> with Bitcoin peaking over sixty thousand US dollars, and there's Ethereum, which has recently crossed thirty five hundred. And then you know you have all coins like uh, BNB, Dogecoin, who are you know surging up ahead. So what does this tell you about crypto's future impacts in global economy? Mm-hmm. Well, that is a really, really interesting question, and I think um, obviously you can never predict the future in crypto. There's always, uh, you know, things move at lightning speed, and there's always changes coming and, and new innovations. But uh, for me, I think it really shows the, the power of uh, both cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology that uh, the mainstream uh, people, mainstream investors, institutional investors, big banks. Uh, everyone is finally realizing that this, uh, how powerful this technology is, how powerful these products are, and realizing um, how important it is to be involved. And so uh, I think it really shows um, that we're starting to see uh, the you know, adoption accelerate and that this technology and these products are, are really here to stay. So uh, I think it's an incredibly positive sign for the industry and for everyone participating in it. It's very exciting to see. Right. So here's a very often asked question. It concerns uh, Bitrex International. So in 2019, October, Mm. you guys, you know, you closed in Malta and you stated that you were moving to Europe and you're going to rebrand yourself as Mm -hmm. Bitrex Global. So what led Bitrex to make this shift and how has it benefited the company since then? Yeah, so that, that is a really good question and a, a really interesting one. Um, it's, uh, you know, my background is as a, a corporate attorney, for those of you who don't know. So uh, I'm sure I could bore everyone all day with the, the details <laughs> of corporate structuring and international tax and all that sort of stuff. But uh, really, to keep it simple, um, you know, at a very high level, what we saw was that Liechtenstein is incredibly committed to this technology, that there's a financial ecosystem there, uh, there's progressive regulators, and really everything that you need to have uh, a supportive ecosystem to uh, drive innovation in blockchain technology, to advance the adoption of cryptocurrencies. And um, there are industry participants, there are banks, there are regulators. It's really the whole country and the whole ecosystem shares the same mission as Bitrix Global and the entire Bitrix organization. And we just thought that it was an amazing fit for us and that we would be able to better service our customers from there, offer new innovating products from there uh, and work really closely with all of those industry participants and regulators. So uh, it has been a great experience for us. It's a phenomenal place to be headquartered. Um, you know, especially now in the spring, it's one of the most beautiful places on earth. So we're thrilled to be there and, um, you know, I think it's been a great move for us. Right. My next question is about, uh, it's about you, Tom. And I oh, particularly, right. Right. yeah, yeah, it is. And this is a question, <laughs> especially, I especially I wanted to ask this. So you joined Bitrex back in August, 2018. And since yes. then you've worked in senior positions in the company. And you became mm-hmm. the CEO of the company in July 2020, which is pretty recent. Mm-hmm. So I'm mm-hmm. really excited to know what were the kind of changes you brought in the company after your arrival? What was the vision you brought with you? Wow. Well, that's a really great question. And, um, you know, I'll probably try and break it down into to two different roles. So, um, you know, when I first joined the company, I was in capacity as, as general counsel for the U.S. company and obviously faces very different challenges than as CEO of the global company. 
Um, and I think, again, people are going to be much more interested in hearing about what the global company is doing on the business side. But, um, you know, for me, Bittrex has been, uh, you know, one of the original exchanges, one of the, the longest running exchanges in the world, um, you know, has been in the community for so long and been so supportive of cryptocurrency and blockchain, um, you know, for over seven years now. And what I really wanted to do was uh, stay true to that vision that the founders had of um, supporting the industry, driving innovation, uh, and really engaging with the crypto community and helping take it mainstream. So everything we've done over the last uh, year and a half or so out of Bitrix Global has been focused on that, on supporting new projects, um, new tokens, supporting new types of products, tokenized stocks and, and things like that. Uh, and then having more of a presence out in the community, engaging more with customers and um, you know, crypto enthusiasts on social media, uh, interviews like this, AMAs, um, all those sorts of things. Um, you know, we've done a ton of stuff like that. It's been incredibly exciting for me to interact with all the customers and potential customers and people that are just as enthusiastic about crypto as, as we are. So um, that's really been what we've tried to focus on and just keep growing the company and, and live up to the vision that our founders had. But, but my question to you, the next question to you is a little more personal. So when you wake up from <laughs> sleep every morning and you look yourself in the mirror and you realize you're the CEO of Bittrex, yeah, that's a big deal. What are the thoughts that race through your mind? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I would not say that I feel like a, a big deal at all, actually. But, um, you know, I think it's... Uh, an incredible honor to, to be trusted with this role by our founders and, um, you know, to kind of live up to the legacy that, that Bittrex has over the past seven years um, and really, you know, to make sure that we're doing the right thing by our customers and all the people that interact with the ecosystem. Um, so, you know, my goal is just to try and keep living up to that and, um, you know, keep doing the best I can. So Bittrex was founded uh, back in 2014, and right mm -hmm. now it's 2021. So tell us how different is it running an exchange in this year compared to, you know, when you guys started off? That's a great question. And, and um, you know, unfortunately for me, I wasn't around with Bittrex back yeah. then. Like you mentioned earlier, I joined, uh, you know, I started working with Bittrex as outside counsel back in uh, the fall of 2017 and joined full time in 2018. Um, but, you know, from talking to people, the founders and others that were there, uh, I think the entire crypto ecosystem has, um, in industry has changed massively from being this, you know, small niche of technologists and people with incredible foresight that just really believed in this technology when you know, 99.9% .9 of the people in the world hadn't even discovered it, uh, hadn't even heard of it. And to be able to dedicate yourself to that and, and drive it forward, um, you know, took an immense amount of discipline and self-sacrifice and, and vision. Um, and then, you know, obviously there was a lot of traction that's been gained by both Bittrex and the industry over the next, uh, you know, four or five, well, probably three years, really, to 2017, 2018. Um, you know, and then since then, uh, the difference is that we're trying to take the, um, you know, the growth that's happened in the industry and the awareness that's gone in the mainstream and show that uh, this is incredible technology, these are incredible products, and they can be a force for good in the world, um, you know, from the original perceptions of Silk Road and people being money launderers and criminals, and there's no good reason to have this to uh, showing that there are billions of unbanked people around the world that can now access savings products and investment products and payment products and all those sorts of things um, without relying on a central intermediary, uh, without relying on governments that are you know, printing money at record paces uh, and, and be able to uh, provide for themselves. And, um, you know, grow their wealth and all those sorts of things. So um, it, it's really trying to take that now, that seed of what crypto could be um, and grow it into the full ecosystem that uh, goes out and integrates with traditional finance and services all those billions of people around the world that need it. 
So adding on to what you just said, so crypto offerings have increased uh, since the last couple of months. Mm-hmm. In the AU, the world's first uh, adaptive digital currency has mm-hmm. been listed in Bittrex recently. So for our listeners who do not know what it is, it's, uh, it's a new category of digital asset that provides staking income and encourages long-term crypto value proposition. Mm-hmm. So Tom, what I want to know from you is how revolutionary is this new model of crypto income? One of the things that I love most about the crypto industry is that there are just a huge amount of incredibly smart people, incredibly innovative people building things and testing them out. And our goal at Bitrix Global is to provide a platform and help support all of those projects. Um, you know, I think that it's incredibly hard to predict the future and see what will you know, last for five years or seven years or things like that. Uh, But we certainly think that Endow has the chance to do that. It's incredibly innovative and exciting technology. Uh, It's an amazing use case. and I think it provides great value for customers. Um, So I'm excited to see what it does in the future. Um, Like many of the other tokens and things that we're we're listing, um, you know, I think, again, there are just a huge number of people building amazing, innovative things. And it's what makes the space so exciting. Right. So one of the biggest talked about features of Bittrex is its security. So my question Mm -hmm. to you concerns uh, the kind of protection you offer to your users and how is it different from maybe the security that other exchanges provide? So for people who don't know, uh, the background of our founders was in cybersecurity. They were cybersecurity engineers uh, before they launched Bittrex at some of the biggest companies in the world, uh, Amazon, Microsoft, and others. And so they had spent, um, you know, entire careers at that point uh, securing these platforms and, you know, implementing the very best practices in terms of cybersecurity. So when they built and envisioned the Bitrix platform, uh, everything was done from the perspective of uh, the best cybersecurity engineers in the world from the ground up. And so security is the core principle at Bitrix in, in everything we do, and that still permeates uh, you know, every decision, every product, everything like that. The most important thing is uh, the security of our customers' assets. And so that focus on security and that level of expertise from the founders uh, that's been hired on the technical side, even to today, I think really differentiates us from a lot of others who, um, you know, don't necessarily have that same level of expertise and that same commitment. Right. So as one of the leading cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, uh, Bitrix Global, you guys have a lot of experience in understanding the market behavior. So according to you, what are the factors which lead to certain coins appreciating quicker than others? Oh, that, that is a great question. And I, um, <laughs> you know, if I'm completely honest, I, I don't know that I have uh, any better insight on that sometimes than than others, certainly than um, people who, you know, are actually trading actively day to day. You know, our goal is to provide the tools and the resources for people to get access to these projects, um, you know, and then let the market decide and and let people who um, are actually using these tokens on a day to day basis uh, decide what the value is. So, um, you know, I think that there are some some core factors from quality of team, quality of use case, uh, all those sorts of things. But, um, you know, if I had the exact answer to that, um, uh, <laughs> things might be a little bit different. <laughs> right. Uh, Tom, can you tell us about a few of your favorite coins, a few projects of yours that you know you're really looking forward to? Yes, that, that is a, a great question. I, and I, it's, it's hard to start with anything other than Bitcoin um, with the, <laughs> you know, the original project that launched this whole industry and was just, um, you know, I think such an underrated to this day, uh, revolutionary product. Um, it, it's certainly, a, you know, the mainstay of, of the industry. Um, you know, the other thing that I think is incredibly interesting right now, and I'm watching, and, and I won't name any particular tokens at this point, but the DeFi space as a whole uh, is incredibly interesting to me because of how it empowers so many people that, you know, I mentioned earlier who are unbanked, who don't have access, uh, even where they have bank accounts to easy payment systems, to, uh, you know, good returns on their uh, savings rather than just their investments um, and how it, 
but really is this whole new ecosystem that people are paying attention to and, and moving into. So honestly, I think there's too many tokens out there to, to mention in particular. Um, as I said, there's so many people building so many amazing things and um, you know, we never know what's going to come to market in the next month, much less in the next six months that will be revolutionary as well. Right. So you mentioned about a lot of new projects coming up. And with these new projects, mm-hmm. a lot of new users are now entering the crypto space, which is great mm-hmm. news for the crypto world. So Absolutely. To, right. So to new users of uh, Bitrex Global, what would be your welcome message to them? How would you introduce them to the wonders of crypto? Oh, <laughs> I'd say congratulations on discovering crypto. Uh, it's an amazing place full of uh, amazing people. And, um, you know, it truly is a community that there are people who are all trying to grow the entire crypto industry, grow the entire pie for everyone and grow adoption, um, that the technology and the products are incredibly exciting. And the farther you get into it, the more exciting it is. So uh, it's the start of an incredible journey and we're thrilled to be on it with you. So Bitrix Global recently announced that it'll be the first exchange to integrate the digital bits blockchain mainnet Mm -hmm. and support the digital bits ERC20 token swap. That's pretty technical. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping if you Mm -hmm. could tell us about the significance of this move. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things uh, similar to the security that that we're the most proud of is is that we have the ability to uh, quickly and efficiently uh, integrate with new mainnets, which is essentially new uh, blockchain technology. So, um, you know, to keep it at a very high level, so Bitcoin runs on its own blockchain separate from Ethereum, which runs on its own blockchain, which runs, uh, you know, separate from Solana, which runs on its blo- own blockchain and, you know, a variety of others. And, um, you know, I think most of your listeners will know this, but many, many tokens first come to market as ERC-20 tokens built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. But the eventual goal for them is to transition to their own blockchain technology that will be somewhat different. And, uh, you know, based on our background as, you know, with our founders and our technical team, cybersecurity engineers and wallet engineers, uh, we are feel like we're the best positioned exchange in the world to support tokens that are launching on new mainnets and building new technology that they feel is better, faster, more secure, um, you know, whatever advantages they're trying to build versus the already existing blockchain. So uh, we're absolutely thrilled to be uh, supporting the swap and seeing new mainnets. Um, and it, it's something that we're very proud of at Bitrix uh, overall and, and Bitrix Global in particular. Right. So let's have a quick uh, discussion about the transaction fees that uh, Bitrex mm-hmm. Global and Bitrex, they levy on their users. So I believe you have a variable transaction model where depending on the yes. volume trade, you put a percentage mm-hmm. of it. So can you please tell mm-hmm. us more about it? Yeah, absolutely. So our, our feeling is that, um, you know, the, the customers who are doing the most business and, um, you know, sort of the most, uh, the most loyal, I would say, if they're bringing more of their business and, and more of their volume, then uh, they can be rewarded with uh, lower fees. So we feel like it benefits the overall health of the ecosystem, um, you know, is better for repeat customers and, and people who store and keep more of their assets with us and, and use those as they uh, invest in additional assets. So uh, we think it's to the overall benefit of our customers as they're entering the ecosystem that the, um, you know, the heavily, the more heavily involved they get, the more uh, trading that they do on the platform, the more investing they do on the platform, the lower their fees can get. Right. So Bitrix Global, uh, what kind of projects are you guys working on? What are some of your most immediate goals that, you know, you want to get done with? And uh, also, if I may add, what are your plans of expanding your user base? So the thing that we're most proud of over the last couple of months that we've launched has been the the tokenized equities, which we're incredibly excited to be doing uh, out through our Bermuda entity, which is licensed and regulated by the BMA there. So we have tokenized versions of Tesla, Netflix, Microsoft. Uh, You know, I think if you look back when Robinhood and various other brokers uh, locked and froze all trading in GameStop and a number of other Uh, equities that we were able to support that trading uh, using our exchange and blockchain technology 
uh, and let that keep going 24 seven. So we're continuing to work to add additional tokenized equities and additional products for that. And we want to continue to grow that because we think it's an incredible opportunity for people who don't have access to US or European brokerage accounts to be able to invest in some of the biggest companies and some of the fastest growing companies in the world. So we're really focused on offering those products to more and more people. Right. And um, in the next coming years, where do you see Bittrex Global? Uh, I think we'll continue to be one of the biggest and most secure uh, exchanges in the world. And we'll continue to support innovative blockchain projects and new tokens and um, you know, continue to offer the best user experience that we possibly can. So I think we'll just continue doing more of the same and uh, continuing to try and get better and better. Right, right. Thank you so much, Tom, for coming on the show, answering all these questions of ours. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you over. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's uh, great to be here. I really appreciate it. Right. Do you have any closing comments, anything you want to tell our listeners before we sign off? Uh, I think a little bit just to reiterate the message that thanks so much for, for watching. And uh, th I think thanks so much for being in this ecosystem. It's an incredible community and incredible products and technology. And we're really excited to be part of it. Um, if anyone has any additional questions, you can find us at uh, global.bitrix.com. Uh, we're also on Twitter at, at Bitrix Global. And you can also reach me at Twitter personally at, at Tom Albright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was Tom. Thank you so much, Tom, for coming on our show. Hope to see you again. Thank you.